The first part to the project is the vehicle configuration. Here, we can set up the type of vehicle that we wish to investigate, and all we need are some simple parameters to do this. In principle, there are five key parts which we can add to the vehicle. This is aerodynamics, mass, wheels, and if needed, interior roads and deceleration limits. With all of our vehicle configurations input into Concept TV, we can choose uh, stand an aerodynamic mass and wheel configuration and compute the tractive torque versus vehicle speed. Here we can investigate how this varies with different speeds, different gradients and get an idea of the requirements for our vehicle at this stage. Next within ANSYS Concept TV we have the components tab. Here we can conf configure the subcomponents to be used within the vehicle architecture. There are four primary subcomponents which we can use, which includes transmissions, which convert mechanical energy to mechanical energy, motors, which convert electrical to mechanical energy, inverters, which convert energy from battery to that needed by the motor, and battery, which is our primary energy source. This is the part where we can configure our electric vehicle powertrain itself. A front wheel drive system, or last of all, and the, the topology we will choose here, an all wheel drive system. Next, we can move to the requirements tab. Here is where we match our vehicle configuration with our powertrain architecture. There's three main types of requirements which we can configure. Here for static requirements, examples include running at the maximum vehicle speed, cruising on a motorway with towing a load, or going up a, lot, a high gradient with a maximum vehicle weight. Dynamic requirements are simple changes in time or simple transients. Last of all, we have drive cycle requirements. These are more complex um, interactions of vehicle speed versus time. These are used more commonly to benchmark a vehicle's efficiency and also range. From here, we can choose to solve onto the cloud platform. We can choose the configuration that we wish to include in, in this and set confirm to go. Next, we'll move to the results page, choosing here a previously completed simulation. Here we have our maximum capability acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. We can see here that we've achieved zero to 100 in 2.45 seconds. Last of all, we have our vehicle drive cycle. We can see in detail the tractive torque, vehicle speed, and how our battery capacity is being used throughout the drive cycle.